Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot, and for today's video, we're gonna show you a problem related to the exhaust system on our Mercedes C280 W203 using two 72 engines. And according to the V6 layout, it has two engine banks. Each bank contains two oxygen sensors located in the exhaust manifold, one at the front of the catalytic converter and one at the back. So right now, we're having a four coats dedicated to the oxygen sensor after the catalytic in the right cylinder bank. There's no check engine light on the dashboard because the emission standard of these vehicles is very low and we haven't exceeded it yet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and diagnose this car together. So we're taking a quick scan on this car and we immediately notice that there's a P0036 DDT on our scanner. It relates to the heating component G3-6. So before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the block diagrams where it demonstrate how the exhaust system works. As we have seen, this G3-6 oxygen sensor is having a problem. Quickly how it works. So it's a part that facilitates the conversion of pollutants in the exhaust to harmless byproducts. These sensors monitor the efficiency of the catalytic converter. The computer compares the exhaust that flow into the converter with the exhaust that come out. If the effects that the converter has on the composition of the exhaust decrease, it means that the converter is wearing out. The computer can monitor the level of the converter's operations and alert the driver when the converter needs to be replaced. And so this is the connector for O2 sensors downstream of our exhaust pipe. It has four pins. Pin 1 and 2 are for the heaters, and pin 4 and 3 are for the signals. This sensor measures the pollutants making it through the converter and out of the tailpipe. The data from this sensor is compared to that of the upstream sensor. If the data between the two sensors becomes more similar, the vehicle control module may trigger a catalyst inefficiency check engine code, which turns on the check engine light. And so before measuring our wire, we have to know which is which. In a wiring diagram, as I mentioned earlier, this G3-6 has four wires. This is power. This is ground. The ground wire in which the ECM will send a ground signal in order to heat it up, and from there, it can determine the temperature inside our catalyst. When the converter reaches its operating temperature, the O2 sensor then becomes an electrode and sends the corresponding voltage signal back to the ECM. So from here, we can consider two options. Either the oxygen sensor is malfunctioning itself, or the wires are having a short circuit. So first of all, Let's go ahead and measure the power 87 of this sensor. We can measure it at the connector or at the fuse 87 power because when you turn the ignition on, this will provide a power 87 to all the components that using it. So with that being said, I will measure the power and remember to turn on the ignition. We have 12 volts on the first pin and also 12 volts on the second pin. So I can say that our power is present. And after that, we shall measure the resistance is the O2 sensor and there are also two ways to do it. We can either measure at the sensor pins or at the plug connector. As you can see, there is no resistance. This should mean that our O2 sensor is malfunctioning. Now, we can swap it with the O2 sensor on the left in the bank or replace it with a new one. So this is a brand new oxygen sensor. Before replacing it, I will show you the amount of resistance that a good sensor would have. We have four wires as you already know.
as you can see the resistance is 10.6 ohms for your information the resistance spec should be within 9 to 12 ohms on these vehicles on some modern car the emission standards is stricter so it might be lower and after replacing the auto sensors let's clear the four ports and see if it's still there So there's no DTC left right now. Then we shall measure the ground signal that I received since the sensor. I've already brought the wire to receive the signal that the ECM sends to our sensors. As you can see, this is our pulse and it indicates that our sensor is being heated. If we don't have this pulse, it means that our ECM is having a problem. At this point, we can say that our problem has been solved. In conclusion, we're having a problem with the exhaust system and it relates to our downstream oxygen sensor on the Mercedes C280 W203 using 272 engines. And after diagnosing and replacing it, we no longer have any DTC on our scanners. And everything is back to normal. If you have any questions, Feel free to contact us and we will help you as much as we can. Till then, we really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.